the management of bone defects with the precise lengthening compression IM nail. While the precise nail is well known for its ability to lengthen, its use for compression of non-unions is less well understood. This schematic represents an atrophic non-union of the femur. The schematic shows an open debridement of the bone ends down to viable bone. In this case, the bone ends were able to be acutely shortened. Although the bone ends are touching, there is no compression across them. A guide wire is placed and sequential reaming is then performed to greater than two millimeters over the size of the selected compression nail. A pre-distracted precise nail is then inserted into the canal. Typically the nail will be pre-distracted by 10 millimeters. This is then locked in a standard fashion. The external compression magnet is then applied in compression mode as seen above. The bone ends come into contact. Once the bone is healed, then an osteotomy can be created around the bone. Typically this is done using a percutaneous two incision technique. Great care is taken to avoid contact with the nail. A latency period is then observed and then the external magnet is applied in distraction mode which requires a quick reprogramming. The bone is then distracted at a typical rate of about a millimeter a day. The patient is followed regularly to change the distraction rate if needed. Once the bone is completely healed, it is recommended to remove the IM nail. This can be done as an outpatient procedure. Thanks so much for joining us to watch this video.